world of YouTube, true crime, a terrible sight, and everything else. I uh, stumbled upon a case, Martha Morrison, found in 2015, but of course, no killer. <clears throat> you know what the funny thing is about this case? She was with a man, I think like maybe a week or a few days or something beforehand, and uh, that guy, it doesn't even say it in this article, has ever investigated. There was another person, um, Valencia, it's in the uh, readings here. Valenzuelans, I can't say that name, husband, uh, he was, I guess, tried overdosing on aspirin, and he was arrested, but was released after p passing a polygraph, now, it, it is said that this guy's wife was murdered and found around the area of Martha Morrison. <clears throat> and, um, but still, you know, no suspect. And where this girl, Martha, brought this supposedly man she was dating home to her family, still no suspect. They said in this article, which I'll put it up in the description box for full detail, that they used to quarrel a lot. Now this is back in 1975, and Ted Bundy's name has came up. But if the family supposedly met this guy, why ain't there no description? Why ain't there was, was the guy ever you know, questioned or had his own polygraph. <clears throat> All in whatever the case may be, this is one of them cases that has not a lot of stuff to go on. There were other remains found as you read through this article. A serial killer, I would believe, is the culprit, but yet, that lack of evidence that we always talk about, that's pretty a shame and bad, you know, to think. <clears throat> and when there was a suspect, or could have been the suspect, never got, never got looked at. He must have... You know, of course, high tide out of town or, of course, back in 1975. And in them days, yeah, you could hitchhike and get out of Dodge and go wherever you may please, you know, if you didn't want to be investigated or you did something wrong and you didn't want to get looked at as right. It's all out there, folks. It's all crazy. But it's these crazy cases that I like to um, talk about. So, here's a picture of the girl. As you can see, she has distinctive curly hair. That was mentioned, I guess, what was used to pinpoint her body, I guess, or DNA in 2015. She had supposedly bad dental hygiene, meaning she didn't take good, too good care of her teeth. <clears throat> but, you know, she was a runaway, a troubled child, lived in foster homes. And of course, I was about to wonder why this case is uh, overlooked or not looked too great into. Because, of course, if, oh, geez, 
person going to live that type of life? You know how it is. There's no sense of spending taxpayers' dollars on figuring out or even investigating. But I mean, they did search for her, but I don't think they did enough. They did there. And like I said, the body wasn't found until and examined until 2015. So yeah, that's just insane. And of course, you live that life of a drifter, so we'll call it. <clears throat> Especially back in them days in the 70s, 60s, man. Yeah, you, you, people back then just, well, you'll get what you deserve. Even though it still goes on today, probably even worse, but it, it's just, yeah, it's terrible when, you know, kids grow up in this type of environment, don't get the help they need, don't know nothing about life in general. Really, Ted? Gonna, um... <clears throat> go out in the great big world and not be taught the right morals and lessons in life to survive. And I could tell by this girl's picture, because the picture says a thousand words, that she wasn't. No offense, they don't look too, you know, under the weather to take good care of herself in making poor decisions. <clears throat> so I thought I'd share this story. Of course, Oregon, right? Washington State. They're always kind of missing stuff out there. It's about a wonder if she got, you know, caught up in one of them sex rings, kidnapped. Because she's wandering. And like I say, a lot of people back in them days, man, throw their thumb out on the side of the road and woo! -hoo. Hitchhiking was a big thing back in them days. And there was another serial killer I mentioned, but I ain't even gonna give him the time of day. I shouldn't even give Ted Bundy the time of day, but this is what that piece of crap did and all these people do. Stalk. Look, hunt for their next prey. <clears throat> it still goes on to this day, man. But hopefully one day, stupidity will kick in, just like Ted Bundy. And he'll get caught, we oh, and Jeffrey Dahmer. Get that cocky attitude, I ain't gonna get caught. Ha ha, yeah. You know, I would like to shake the hand to the man who took Jeffrey Dahmer out in prison to put money on his canteen. Because <clears throat> people like that, man, is what make people like me. And lately, <laughs> talking about all this, and I've been getting unlawfully uh, well, how do you say it? Give me a sec. I've been using the word so much. I'm awfully characterized. Been going through some ordeal. Bad ordeal. Because I've been unlawfully characterized. I might do a video on it. I might not, but... Still my path of a warrior and how I gotta fight to survive in this world continues. And I tell you, people like this, they like to hunt, prey, and kill innocent people. Man, always leads me to say what's on my mind. <clears throat> You know, I don't cover coat nothing in life in general, especially when cases like this come up and there's that person that's still at large 
hopefully from 75, this person is dead. <clears throat> but if they are, you know, unfortunately still out there, I'm telling you, it warps my brain. Because <laughs> the way I've been unlawfully characterized in my life at this point in time makes me sick. Because I will say this. I talked about child molesters, rapists, women beaters, child women in, um, murderers. And I was literally told that due to my symptoms or why I just can't, you know, Take that step out in the public in some ways because of um, these people out here that make me sick. I have been unlawfully char characterized due to that fact. So that being said, me just gotta continue what I'm doing try and figure out a way to boost myself so I can make it a point to make this YouTube thing my business so I can be who I really am which is you know honestly try and help the innocent not be unlawfully characterized for it. So with that being said, we're gonna give this poor girl a moment of silence. Hopefully one day this girl gets, whoever did this to her, they get justice hand and do them sideways up there. Watus. And, um, I gotta keep rolling on with myself, folks. Keeping myself sane. So, I can give the satisfaction to my fans that are out there, because each and every one of you, especially with my family, are with me now are the only things right now keeping me going. That's how <clears throat> difficult my life is right now. So, and all you stalkers, all you hunters of the innocent, beware. I guarantee one day your boogeyman will backfire on you. Yeah. <laughs> Till that next video, folks. Be safe. Take care. Always beware. Because you don't want to be what? 1975, 2015, it's almost 30, 40 years, 40 years lying somewhere not knowing what the hell happened to you. And your spirit roaming the earth, looking at yourself saying, wow, what the hell? How the hell did I get here? That's right, folks. Monsters rule this earth. Be careful. Oops. Pardon me. I have to shut this off. I goofed.